So let me share my screen. Then we'll make this bigger. Okay. Hey, Carol, Elizabeth. Hello, everybody. Yeah. Okay. So let me, there we go. Okay. We're sharing the catalog now. <laughs> okay. I'm going to move my controls up. I don't know that you can see that when I, my controls. Okay. So let's catch up really quick. Let me, let me just go back to the front of this catalog. That's real beautiful. Um, as we catch up for a minute. So I know we are like smack dab in the middle of the new year. It's like January 10th. And I haven't shared a catalog walkthrough. I haven't really had very many videos uh, here at the beginning of January. So if you were with me in December, you know that I did craft miss. It was so fun. I already want to do that again next year. It was totally less stressful than I thought it was going to be. I thought, how in the world am I going to pull this off in December? But it was so fun. Um, and I didn't, it wasn't hard. So it's, I'm going to do it next year. And I'm excited about that. But I feel like we connected so much in December. And then it was like January happened. And it's like been like, what happened? <laughs> like, what's going on? Um, so at the very end of December, I did uh, have a little bit of a medical situation. Um, it's not anything terribly bad. It's something I just struggle with. I ended up in the ER and I had a ruptured ovarian cyst. Uh, several years ago, I had a hysterectomy, but I still have my ovaries and I had a cyst that ruptured. It's something that I struggle with. Um, I work with a uh, I work with somebody on a monthly basis for like hormone balance and um, like therapy and weight stuff. And as the years have ha over the last few years, I just have not been able to lose the weight, um, and be able to like be in a healthy place. And so that's why I work with somebody. And this is like, they're under control. The ovarian cyst situation is under control, but I still struggle with them occasionally. And when ruptured at the end of December. And so I share all that to just say, it's been a little bit crazy because when that happens, um, my hormones get like uh, unbalanced basically. And I've really struggled since being in the hospital. I've really struggled to like stay, um, up on things. And then I've really struggled with, uh, just a lot of like depression and, um, anxiety. Like it's been really high the last, like since that happened, I took a little time off the week after Christmas and I thought I would be okay. And then California decided to like get rain and have like crazy weather. And we've had really a ridiculous like winds and I just haven't been sleeping well, which if you know anything about anxiety and like depression and all of that, like your sleep, it makes it so difficult when you're not getting sleep. So that's where I've been the last couple weeks. Um, my kids went back to school today. School was canceled yesterday. We were without internet yesterday um, and school was canceled. So we just hung out. Uh, we still had power. So that's always good. Um, but they went back today and it feels really weird for the house to be so quiet. Um, Christmas is all put up and we're back to normal. So that is sort of where I've been. I don't want to dwell on it too much. I just want to dive back in and get to it when I'm working and I'm able to be in my office. It helps with my anxiety and the depression that I deal with. Uh, it's just hard to get down here sometimes. So I am currently uploading a video to YouTube that I filmed last week and I just got edited yesterday and it is a scrapbook layout as you might have realized on here on my youtube channel and on my website and on facebook here i'm really transitioning from doing a lot of card making to do doing more memory keeping and that is just because that's what i love it's it's how i got started on youtube it's why i wanted to have a website and it's um why I craft. Um, while I love making cards and I love doing that, and there's definitely a piece of me that enjoys that, I have way more scrapbooking and memory keeping projects that I love doing. So I am doing more of that. Um, thank you, Elizabeth. She said, glad you're doing better. I am doing, I am doing better. It is 
it's just a process. I know, I know how it goes. I know how it works. I know it will pass. I know I just have to get through it. And like, I feel like I'm a little bit on the other side of it. So last night I slept for the first time for like seven hours straight and it was glorious. Um, so thank you. I appreciate your prayers too. I appreciate them. Um, I'm just working on being more transparent. I think we get online as, you know, content creators or people that are sharing and it's just so curated, right? It's just so, you just see, you know, you see the projects being shared and you see, you know, a post of a clean craft room or a pretty card. And like, you just, you get in a place where that's what you share. And sometimes there's real things happening behind the scenes. And I just want to be more um, open with that. And instead of just saying, oh, I'm so sorry, I haven't been here in a couple of weeks. I want people to know why I haven't been as active or, you know, I'm trying my best and doing the best that we can. And I think everybody online is doing that. Right. And I just, um, I appreciate having more open conversations with, with everybody and hearing people say, you know, I'm doing great or I'm struggling or this is what's happening. Um, I just think it's a better place to be than to just smile and post and not, you know, not address it or talk about it. So that's where I'm at. So today, what I want to do, uh, I wanted to catch up with you, let you guys know what's happening. Um, I've sent out a couple emails. If you're waiting on my paper party information or blessed to craft for the month, um, those emails are going out today. My website was down this morning. There was a server issue and it was down for several hours. So I, I just now got back into it. Um, it went back up and, um, I will get all of that posted and all of the emails out. So if you're waiting for that, that's coming. But I wanted to do a catalog walkthrough. These are one of my favorite videos to create. And I thought it would be fun to do it this way. I usually just film on my camera and I flip through the cam through the catalog and I kind of just move the catalog around. And like you see in the catalog, I thought it would be better to do it this way because you can actually see the product a little bit better um, in the catalog. So this is the mini catalog. It is now January through April. So I know that we've had some crazy stamping up years in the last couple of years. Last year, both of the mini catalogs were six months long, were six months long. So they start like the January catalog started in January and went all the way to June. And then the fall winter catalog went from uh, July to December. And that was a really long time to have the catalogs. I was really sick of the holiday catalog by December, which is crazy. Um, the fall winter catalog, because we just had had it so long. And if you're a demonstrator, um, you get to pre-order, like we've already been, as a demonstrator, I've already ordered product from this catalog. Like last month I started ordering from it. So it's even longer. It was even longer last year. Um, so I'm happy that, that, uh, we are transitioning our catalogs and they're going to be a little shorter, um, which is nice. So this is the January through April catalog, and we're just going to dive in and get started with it. This is the cover. And then, um, I'm going to just make sure, uh, this is the front page. I'm on a little bit of a delay on my iPad. So um, yeah, so I think that's, I think it's easier to see this and then I can also zoom in. And so if there's things that I want to zoom in on, I will uh, be able to do that. The first thing that I notice, uh, maybe it's just because I'm a demonstrator. If any of my demonstrator friends are on here, I know Roberta's on here. Um, let me know if when you opened this catalog, you immediately saw this notebook and was like, what is this notebook? Like, I need this notebook. Like what's happening? Like there's a little stampin' up logo down here on the bottom. And I'm like, I, I need this notebook, like what's happening. So this is just the very beginning. Um, it gives you your catalog icons. If you're unfamiliar with the catalog, um, and I'll go over those, like, as we see them. And then here is a note from Sarah. There's usually either a note or the last couple of years, I think they've done these like question and answers. I always encourage you to just take a look at them. I always appreciate hearing from Sarah or Sarah and Shelly when they both do it. Um, so that's nice. And then this is the make a difference um, part here, the information here, the hashtag. I honestly, I look at the, I look at Sarah's message or Shelly's message and then I skip right on over it. 
Um, okay, so then there's Paper Pumpkin, uh, which is the monthly kit. You have the information here. I just saw the pictures for Paper Pumpkin next month, and I'm kind of excited. It's kind of a cute kit. So, so that will be coming. I'll post about that. And then we dive in. So if you are a current customer and you haven't received a catalog, uh, don't panic. I have not sent my catalogs out. I only sent them to a handful of blessed to craft uh, members. And honestly, uh, again, I just, I couldn't afford it last month. I just did not have the funds uh, to be able, I didn't get a lot of orders last month. So I didn't have a lot of funds coming in. So this month is better. I will get catalogs out. They'll start going out in batches. You can get the catalog link. So if you want to look through this like this, I will post the link so that you can look through it um, if you haven't seen if you haven't seen it. Um, but if you need a physical catalog, you can also post on this post either on Facebook or on YouTube when you see this on YouTube and I will get a catalog out to you. So this is the first sweet collection. This is actually the collection that we are using for blessed to craft um, we're using this bundle um the uh this is the country bouquet bundle and it has the punch i love this punch um i love that it is a heart that is kind of um like whimsical like it's not just like your chunky regular looking heart and i feel like we all have those dies or those punches like i really wanted something that was different and i love that they did this uh, so here's the paper. Blessed to Craft members will be getting this paper down here, the Country Floral Lane paper. So you'll get a quarter pack of that, and then you will also get these adhesive sequins. Um, that is what your kit includes. And then I don't have the cards that I made, um, but I made three cards, and you get those um, kits to make those cards. That's what Blessed to Craft is. So I love this uh, suite. When I saw this, it's probably one of my I'd say it's probably in the top five of my list for this year. I really like this one. I like the red and the crumb cake together. I'm dying for Stampin' Up! to do a red and black themed Valentine's. Um, I would really love for them to do that. That's my favorite for Valentine's Day is like red and black. I don't so much love the pinks, um, but I love the crumb cake and the red together. And then my favorite out of this whole suite is this paper here, the this plaid paper. It's so, so beautiful. And I will actually be doing something with that later in the month for something. Um, but for Blessed to Craft, I decided to use this paper here. So this is the suite. And then on the next page, we have the stamp set and the punch. So you can see that I love this card with the dies. I thought this was really genius to use the heart in the middle there and then have these cut out. You could also, instead of doing the negative space, you could do the positive space where you did the actual letters. That would be awesome too. And then over here we have this bundle, which is the love for you bundle. It will work in your mini, in the mini. And if you have not gotten a mini and you would like to get a mini for free, um, stay tuned when we talk about celebrations because there's a way that you can get a mini machine for free this month and next month. So I'm not gonna get this bundle here. Um, I'm just, I, I'm, I didn't feel like I would use it as much, even though I love it. Um, I felt like I probably would use some of the other stuff in the catalog more like particularly um this bundle here the share a milkshake bundle it is on its way to me as we speak so i cannot wait to get this i love this uh the, it's a stamp set and the dies and one of the things that i realized is they show this in this color scheme with this like pink and um i think this is soft sea foam you don't have to use those colors. You can use other colors with this. So sometimes I see a sample and I'm like, oh, I don't like that sample because of the colors. Like I'm not a, a big fan of the soft sea foam, um, but you don't have to use those colors. So I'm excited to get this and try it out with some different colors. Um, then there's the love cats. And I was not going to get this. I think it's cute. I think it's really adorable. It's one of my favorite um cat ones that we've had i wasn't planning on get it getting it 
And then I decided to do a class with it. So that will be coming up at the end of the month. I currently am waiting for this stamp set to get it. I just had some ideas and I thought I'm going to use it. And I love this. I think I'm going to case this card as part of the class um, that I'm going to put together for the end of the month. So that will be coming on the 27th of this month. Next, we have Fancy Floral. So this is a new suite collection. If you're ever interested in getting like this entire suite of product that they share, you can use the suite collection number, which is right here. And that will get you all of the things you see here. So I was originally planning on getting the something, something fancy bundle. In fact, I just took this off my order this morning to get something else, but I love the dyes in this. The sentiments are great. It's always great to have a sentiment set. Um, if you find a good sentiment set, like I'm a sucker for sentiments, uh, but I also really love the dyes on this. So that is, uh, there's two bundles for this particular suite. Um, Gail said, I'm cleaning my craft room as we watch, trying so hard to use up all the paper I have. Oh, Gail, I've been doing the same thing. I actually have a video coming out in, I think maybe next week where I did a huge, not a huge cleanup, but you know, after the holidays, when you've like been creating all the holiday things, um, I cleaned up my craft room and then I share some of the products that I got. And like I did, like I dusted everything. Um, back up here, I did some decorating. So I'm with you. I, it's a rainy day here and that's the best time to, um, to clean your craft room and get all of that stuff out. Uh, and I just, I have too much paper, Gail. I'm with you. I have so much paper because I just love it. It's one of my favorite things, paper. So here are those stamp sets just up close. Um, there's this floral one. I'm going to pass on this floral one because there's some other floral sets that I'm getting. And there is a floral set from the annual catalog that I'm getting. And so I just felt like of all the floral sets I wanted, um, this one was one I was willing to pass on. Uh, that doesn't mean I won't get it closer to April. Um, or I might, you know, I'll see something I really love and then I'll have to have it. Um, here's that sentiment set. And like I said, I really love these dyes. I think they're super cute. Okay. Next is this set here. And I will tell you the only reason I want this set <laughs> is for the lantern. Does anybody else look at this set and not really know what to do with it, but the dyes that have the lantern I like, I want that lantern so bad. I have not purchased this yet, but I might. I also really like the sentiments in this set. I like the way they're laid out. Follow your dreams, I think is a really great sentiment. I think we all have like the congratulations, happy birthday, it's your day, happy Valentine's, you know, like all of the basics. But I love when Stampin' Up! does these more unique sentiments where it's like, follow your dreams. That I feel like I can go on any kind of card, right? Um, you are all kinds of wonderful. I love that as well too. And I love the fonts. I'm a sucker for a good font. My husband makes fun of me because we'll be out or we'll be watching TV and I'll see something and I'll be like, oh, I know the name of that font. And he'll be like, what are you talking about? And I'm like, oh, the text they used for that advertisement. I know the name of that font. And he's, you know, thinks I'm a psycho. Um, okay, spring blessings, I'm going to totally skip because I think it's weird. I just, I don't get it. I don't like, I look at this and I would never be able to come up with a project on my own. Like, this is cute. I like this. I see this and I'm like, oh, I get how to use it now. But stamp sets like this, I just feel like are so hard for me to use. Um, I just don't necessarily know what to do with them right away. So I will be skipping this. This is spring blessings. Oh, follow your dreams could be a great graduation one. Yeah, that's, and the, probably the lantern too. Like this actually could be a great set for graduation, which is coming up. Um, okay. So then we go into, this is the, um, fragrant, fragrant flowers, um, here, I skipped this one as well, although I do love the hello and the thanks, and I do love this little stitched piece here. I just, I really just skipped it. I just skipped it. It, it just, it's not necessarily my style. 
And then as we get into by the bay collection, I skipped all of this except the paper. And that is only because I have other like seaside stamps from the annual catalog that I like better. So this style of stamp is not really my favorite. It is, um, I don't know, it's a double edged sword because you don't really have to color with these the way that they're designed. You're not coloring the image, which I don't love coloring. You guys know that. Um, but also I don't, it just, I feel like this looks a little dated. Like I was a little disappointed with the stamp set because I just felt it was a little dated. I like the sentiments, the heartfelt sympathy. Um, I like, and, um, if you hear my heater, I apologize for that, but I'm freezing down here. Um, and then I also, this is a distinctive stamp. So like when you stamp it, it's meant to look more realistic, which is just not, it's not my favorite look. I did get the paper and that will be, you know, it'll, it's part of the paper party that's happening. So if you want the opportunity to get all of the paper, to check out all of the paper and see um, how the paper looks and how it feels and what you like. Um, my paper party is coming up. It closes on the 15th. So in five days it closes and there will be information out for that today. Okay. So then this one, the perfectly detailed, to be honest, I totally didn't even see this a couple times around, like a couple of times flipping through the catalog. I didn't even see this. I actually just thought it was like the samples from this page. And then I realized this is a whole stamp set and this is shown at 85%. So it's a little bit larger. It's a pretty large set. I'm going to go ahead and, and skip it because I don't know what to do with it. I think it's a great background. Like that's pretty, um, but that I don't, I don't know that I would use it, um, honestly. And then make sure to check out, there's a couple things I missed in this catalog because they were like in the corner like this. And I didn't realize it was an actual product. Like I thought it was a prop. So I'll show you some of those in the back of the catalog, but make sure you check some of these out. And then like also right here, this I believe right here is just, I think that whoever created this card created this. They like braided it together. I don't think that that's actual like other ribbon. So looking at these samples is always a fun thing to do too. When you go through your catalog, um, check out the samples and just look at them closely to see the different, um, the different ways they use the product over here. I laugh at this one because um, I have a friend that is like really into birds and like nature and I'm not, I just, I, I never have been, but this year I got, we got a bird feeder for the front yard. And one day I was like sitting here and my window is right here. And I was like watching this bird, like, I don't know, for 20 minutes, I watched this bird and I had to text her and be like, I must be getting older because all of a sudden I'm bird watching. Like, and I knew she'd be the only one that understood because she watches birds. <laughs> so I laugh at this one. It's a cute one. I really love the sentiments. Best friends make the good times better and the hard times easier. I love this sentiment. Um, and this is a stamp set I would totally get just for that sentiment. We have this B set here. I don't love it. Um, I love queen and birthday. Like I love the sentiments, but I don't love the images. Uh, but I like when it comes to bees and birds and like, I'm more of a cutesy, like this, I love like the silly goose, this I love, um, this not so much. It's like, not my style that like, I don't even know what style, like you would call it. Is it like not grunge, but like more vintage. That's a better word, probably vintage. It's just not my style. So I'm going to skip it. I think it's a really pretty stamp set if you like the vintage look. I know Sarah and Shelly, it's like, I think of Sarah and Shelly from Stampin' Up with this stamp set. It's like they would do something beautiful with it and I wouldn't even understand what they did. Um, but this is like more my style, like the cutesy, more open, um, more like, I guess, modern. Like, I feel like that's more modern than this. So I'll skip the B set, but this one I love, and I'll probably get a little closer to like probably in March. 
Um, this background set right here, I received as a gift from Stampin' Up! And it is the hand-drawn dots. Uh, it was part of a um, event that I went to. And I actually really love it. Out of both background stamps, I love this one the most. Um, it's these messy hand-drawn circles I think are really great. And then the layered stripes are cute. We have the sea turtle, which is a reversible stamp set. And that means you stamp um, this part, like the first turtle, you stamp that first, then you literally flip your stamp over and you stamp the inside. So I think that's really cool. I think it's a really cool um, effect. You can see it here. Uh, I don't do that often, or you can do it the opposite where you stamp that first and then you stamp the other image. You could do it either way, I guess. I've always done it where I fill it in. Um, so that is a reversible set. I'm not going to get this one. I'm going to skip this one. Um, just not my style. Okay, so then we move on to Regency Park and these milky dots, I just did a scrapbook layout that is uploading to YouTube right now. And I was like, oh, oh man, those embellishments would be perfect. And I don't have them yet. So uh, all, uh, let's see, this bundle here I got, I received as a gift. So it was something that I earned. I really love it. I love the punch aspect of it. Um, I can't wait to get it to play around with it. And then I skipped this bundle, which you'll see the stamp sets closer up on the next page. I skipped this bundle, but I got everything else. I got the 12 by 12 check, uh, textured shimmery paper, the uh, cane weave 3D embossing folder. Can't wait to use that. The Knight of Navy bordered ribbon, the adhesive back milky dots. I actually ordered three sets of these and then I got the paper. So um, pretty much everything on here except this bundle, bundle. And I just picked between the two um, of which one I wanted. And I wanted the one with the punch. I just felt like I would use it more. So here's that. Uh, and I'm a sucker for a flower. Probably know that if you're here and following me, you probably know I love the flower. I love this as well. I mean, I love them both, but I just thought I would use a punch more. And something I'm trying to do this year is in years past, I probably would have just got both bundles. I love them both. But then what happens is because I have to move so fast as a demonstrator, as a full-time demonstrator um, that does this as a business, I have to move so quickly with the product that I get that often what happens is if there's two products that are similar, I end up just using one and then I end up not using the other one because I have to move on. So if you are not a demonstrator doing this full time, doing classes, and you just love both of them, get totally get both of them. Um, I just picked which one that I felt like I would use the most and I could like then move on from. So I picked this one with the punch. And then this one has the dies, which the dies on here are really beautiful. They're this shape and they have the florals which are so pretty. And then all of this will punch out to like, you have these little flowers that can go by them. Hey, Kathy. Um, Gail said she loves the one with the sentiments. I think she might mean this one here. Uh, okay, so then next we have the farm animals, which these coordinate with some paper that's in celebration. So I will get these, but I'm not getting them quite yet. I'm going to wait. Um, I have a lot of other projects right now. So I want to wait to get this, but I'm going to get this one because it coordinates with that farm paper. And the farm paper in the celebration catalog, I've gotten like 9,000 packs of it because it's so cute. I'm hoarding it, so, which is not good, but... It is good, but it's not good. <laughs> so over here, um, I'm going to go ahead and skip this one as well. It has some of these bordering. That I think it's really cute. Um, I fear that I would forget. So sometimes I look at this, like this is one that I look at this die and I look at the stamp and I think it's really complicated and it's going to take a lot of time and I dismiss it and I go like I don't have time to do all of that and figure all that out so I dismiss the product this is not a good um a good uh quality I guess 
um, because they're beautiful. And I bet you by the end of the catalog or closer to the end of the catalog, I'm panicking and buying this because I see so many cute things with it. Um, because it is cute. I just get nervous that it's too complicated. And so I don't try it. So I've skipped that one, but I don't know. I could, I could end up with it. Okay, next I have, uh, next here is these two. I skipped both of these, but not because I don't think they're cute. Particularly this one, I think is really cute, like with the rainbow. I'm just afraid I won't get to it. I'm just afraid like I won't get to these products because again, I have, and you'll see at the back of the catalog, I, I've gotten more from the back of the catalog because I have more plans for it. So currently I am planning for, my blessed to craft, which is my card um, class. I will be introducing a simple card class um, next, at the end of this week, actually, that I'm hoping to be able to do monthly. And then I also am gonna be introducing a scrapbooking based class. And so because of that, that's how I'm choosing my product. So I know it's a little bit different for everybody as a full-time demonstrator, I often choose my product based on classes or um, requirements that I have with uh, like other people, if I'm committed to doing some things with other people. So I skipped both of these, but not because I don't love them um, because I thought I might not get to them. Okay, I think this is cute. I like this, except to the, for the fact that it's the person from behind. I, I don't really get this. I love everything else. I love the plants. I love the sentiments. Um, this one's a little bit like grow through what you're going through. It's a little bit, I don't wordy for me, like a little bit word salad -y for me. Like, I don't, I don't know that I would put that on a card to send somebody. It feels very dismissive. Like, I don't really care what you're going through. Like you figure it out. <laughs> like, if I got a card like that in a heart, like if I was having a hard time when I got a card that said this, I would be like, thanks for nothing. <laughs> so I don't know that I would use this. Um, but I like the, like, I like the fonts of it and I like, like the idea of it and the plants, but I don't like the looking at somebody's behind. <laughs> like, is that totally weird? <laughs> like, I don't know. I just, I did not, I was like, this is a, it's like good, but I'm not positive about it. Again, I could totally see some, some product with it or cards with it. I mean that I fall in love with it. I'm like, I have to have that. I immediately purchased this. This is one that we're using for the paper party. And funny story, uh, you'll probably hear me tell this a million times. Uh, I actually, right before this catalog went live, I looked at every stamp company, like Simon Says Stamps, Lawn Fawn, Honey Bee, I mean, Reverse Confetti, you name this Concord and Ninth, you name the stamp set. And I scoured the internet and their website to find a stamp set that had these word bubbles <laughs> because I wanted a stamp set so bad, I could not find anything. And then like a week later, the catalog came out and I screamed when I saw this, like I was looking through the catalog and screamed. Um, I was so exci excited that this one came out. So I already purchased this one. We're using it for the paper party. Pip and I both loved it. I was ecstatic that she loved this one and we both decided to use it. Um, this right here reminds me of an old style TV, like without the little um, part on the bottom, it totally reminds me of like a, um, retro TV. I don't know why, but it does. Okay. Now we're getting into all the things that I bought. Um, so I have this one, I already purchased this one. And then this one I received as a gift. Uh, well, I earned it. It wasn't just a gift. I earned it. And so, um, it's, it was one of the things I picked out. Um, there's lots of ways you can earn product from Stampin' Up when you are a demonstrator, regardless of whether you're doing this as a full-time business. Um, you get a, once you get, when you've been with Stampin' Up and you get to the certain level, you get a quarterly bonus. 
And um, so I get to spend that on product. Um, I earn products from other things I'm a part of. I earn a lot of host rewards because I do classes. So I always like to pour all of that back into my business, particularly with new catalogs. So, um, and celebrations is a great time to do that when you are a demonstrator, even when you're just purchasing your own product, you earn free product on top of like the celebration items. So that's really amazing. And I love that Stampin' Up! does that because it just gives us an opportunity to get more product and be able to use it. So this is one I got as uh, I earned it as a gift. Um, and I love it. I think this is one I will keep forever. I have so wanted Stampin' Up to do a St. Patrick's Day, like four leaf clover for a million years. I've wanted them to do it. So um, I'm so happy to see this and I love it. And then this one I love as well. This one coordinates with the, um, the dyes from the holiday catalog, which carried over. Um, for this, I don't like any of this. It's not my style. It's definitely that Southwestern style. So I skipped all of this um, except the paper. And I only got the paper uh, because of the paper party so that I could show it and do my projects with it. But I skipped everything um, in this collection. So it just wasn't my style, which is to there's totally fine. There's other ones that are more my style. So again, I skipped this um, and then I did get this. Uh, we're using this in our paper party. Again, I'm a sucker for a good sentiment. Um, and I love this one with the big sentiment paired with the small sentiment, I think is super cute. I love this kind. Um, I think that's really cute. And then I did get this animal paper, um, which is really, really beautiful. It is a... Um, I believe it has the foil on it, if I'm not mistaken. And that is why it is $15 um, instead of 12. Over here, we have the vellum basics, which I love. And then we have the, the stamp set here, which I totally skipped just because it's not my thing. Like ballet stuff isn't my thing. I don't have kids in it. I don't, um, I just said, like, this is not to be offensive by any means. If you're into ballet, that's awesome. Um, you know, it's like football. If you're not into football, like you don't like it, you don't get it. If you are, you totally get it. Same thing with ballet. I just said to my husband, ballet is the most boring to like to watch. Like, I don't know how anybody watches it. It's so boring. Um, so I, if you're in ballet or like ballet, I do apologize. Um, but I just skipped all of that. It wasn't my thing. And then this I received, um, as a gift from Stampin' Up for an event that I went to, I don't really know how to use it. And I don't know that I will even use it. Um, I saw that I received it and was like, oh, okay. Like, but I don't, I don't really, I don't really get it. Although as I look at it and as I'm like thinking about it, like, what would you use this for? Um, I think it would be great for bullet journaling. Um, I do bu bullet journaling, but I stamp in my bullet journals because I'm not craft, like I'm not artistic. I'm crafty, but I'm not artistic. So to draw things, I, like I can't do that, but this would be great um, because you could stamp, you could use it in, in that realm. Next, I think this is so cute. Uh, I have not got this one yet, but I probably will. Um, I think it's so cute. I've been seeing so many cards with it. I love the avocado and the taco and like, I just love it. Um, we're having tacos today, taco Tuesday. And, um, it just makes me want to like use this stamp. I, it's so cute. The guaca, the guacamole. Oh my God. It's so cute. I love it. So I probably will get this one. Oh, good point, Gail. See, this is why I love our stamping community. Uh, she said, I can, I can see using it on envelopes, which is a great idea. See, I never would have thought of that. Um, that would be a crafty idea to do the backs of your envelopes or the bottom even. That would be cute. Um, so I love this. I will probably get it. I just haven't yet. I got this immediately. This, uh, the word phrase, uh, the word bubbles and this were the first thing I purchased. I believe they were both on pre-order and I ordered them in November on my, um, I had like a pre pre-order that I got to do in November. And I believe both of those items were on there and I ordered both of them. I love this. It shows lemons here 
And I didn't even think like, I was just like, oh, lemon's so cute. But as I'm seeing samples, I'm like, oh yeah, you can do lemons, you can do oranges. So the color range on this can be amazing. And then the bundle is the, I wanna show this because I think it's genius. When you get the bundle with this sweet citrus bundle, you get the dyes and then these dyes cut out the like the embossing folder, the image. So the bundle includes includes dyes and an embossing folder and a stamp set, and it's forty nine fifty, which is an amazing price. The three D embossing folders are normally ten dollars by themselves. So I loved this. I got this. I cannot wait to use it. Um, I think it's beautiful. And then I got everything in the suite. So I got the paper, the stamp set, the embossing folder, and the embellishments. This is the rain or shine. So now, as you see, kind of in the back of the catalog, you're going to start seeing all of the things I start I I purchased um, and made the decision to get. I love everything about this. I cannot wait to make some scrapbook pages with this. I think it's going to be amazing. Um, I do love this set. It makes me want to get it. Um, I are you talking about the lemon bundle, Gail? Um, it's a great. It really is a great set. Or you might be talking about this one. So I got all of this. I cannot wait to play with it. Um, again, I will probably be doing that in March, um, maybe the end of February. But it is in my plan to use all of this. I think it's gorgeous. Next is this one here, Easter Bunny. I, oh, the taco set, the taco set, Gail. Yeah, um, this one, I'm so glad to see like a, this kind of Easter set. So I'm all for like the very fancy, more religious sets. I think they're gorgeous, but I have been wanting Stampin' Up! to just do a fun Easter, like the Easter Bunny, Easter egg kind of set. And I think this is beautiful. I think it's perfect. So I will get this probably closer to April, probably like the middle, of, maybe the beginning of March. Um, over here, I here's a great sentiment set. Now I only got the punch. I love this punch. I love my triple banner punch. Uh, it may be retired. I use it all of the time. I love the ability to do the three different sizes. I love that the sentiments will fit on there, but I also just love that punch. And I got the punch right away. I passed on the sentiments. I think I'm going to get them, which makes me a little bit sad because then I'm not, I won't have saved 10% because I got the punch separate. I didn't get the bundle together. I think I'm probably going to go for the sentiments as well, but I just love this punch. Mm -hmm. Here's a fun one. So this is the more religious set for, um, for Easter. <clears throat> and I like it. <clears throat> Sorry about that, guys. Um, I like it. I think it's great. I love the sentiments. I love this. <clears throat> Goodness. Sorry. I love the sentiments, particularly this one. I love that it's a very whimsical font and like a very um, like scripty font. I really love that. So I will probably get this one uh, for sure. I don't, to be honest, I'm always honest when I do these um, videos of the catalog. I don't like the image, um, like the, it, it's supposed to be Jesus. I'm, you know, positive that I just don't, I don't like that. It's just not my style. It, there's nothing wrong with the image, but I definitely will use the sentiments, the dove, and then this part here. I don't know that I would stamp that. It's just not my style. I love right here on the sample how they did this. Um, I love this card here. I think that's a really clever way they did that. I love that they used this paper um, as the whole background, it almost looks watercolored and it's really just designer paper. And then I love that they did this, um, with this tag and they did, um, I'm assuming they did watercolor on that. And I think that's really, really beautiful. I skipped this. Um, I think 
this might this might look like the paper that's in celebration catalog um and i skipped it it's just not my style um and the fonts i love the fonts thank you for your kindness sending love during the season of growth i love that celebrate you the best is yet to come um i think all of that is really pretty i just um I don't know, just not not my style necessarily. Uh, this is the another sentiment one, which is really fun. Um, I know your real age. Good thing we're friends. I could see using that one. I don't recall getting this one. I don't think I got this one um, yet, but I probably will. I love it. I love all the sentiments and I tend to hang on to all my sentiments, even though I tend to get rid of my retired sets. Um, I have a hard time letting go of sentiment sets. I went ahead and skipped this one. It just wasn't very appealing to me. The dyes are, I love this. Like I love this sample here. Um, I think it's so pretty. I love the way they did it. I'm thinking, at first I was thinking they did it with designer paper, but they might not have. They might have done like stamping and coloring because of the way it's done. Either way, I love the dyes. I just, I'm not a fan of the stamp. And it has that distinctive um, stamping. And then I got everything here. So I loved everything about all of this. I love the paper. I just put these on an order. Um, I got this bundle as a as something that I earned um, as a gift. And I love it. I love that you can color these um, enamel sticker icons. I love the stamp. Like even though we're not big outdoor people, I really, well, Violet's an outdoors kind of person, but we don't do like camping, but I just thought like the sentiments are so awesome and would be so great for memory keeping pages, particularly this right here. Oh, I just love this. I think this would be so great on a scrapbooking page. So I got all of this um, and I love all of it. The twine. I think the twine I got as a gift. Um, so the next over here, we're almost to the end here. This, I just skipped all of it. I actually, you know what? I think I got this one. I think I got this as a gift, but I don't really know how to use it. And um, this I think is cute. And I think I skipped that up in the corner, what I was going to show up. Oh, there's one right there. So up here in this corner, dress up the vellum with heat embossing and sentiments. So here is that vellum, that basic vellum, and it's up here in the corner and you don't really see it. You don't really see that sample. Um, and then... I know there was another one. Oh, maybe we haven't got there yet. I feel like there was something else up in the corner that I totally missed several times. Um, okay, so I think I got this one, but I think I got it as a gift. It's not something that I would purchase. I love the sentiments, not sure how to use it, but I do love this right here. I do love this card here. Um, over here on this side, this is the other item I purchased in my pre pre order were these dies. I've used them a ton. Um, in fact, I might grab, let me grab my, December daily album, which I'm still currently working on. And let me just show you. I'm going to show you a couple things. So let me stop sharing my screen for a minute so that I'm bigger. Um, first of all, I used the numbers, right? I know it's probably backwards. I'm pretty sure, but I used the numbers on the front of my album. Oh, it's not backwards. Um, okay. And then 
I think it'll be easier if I take the pages out to show you. Okay, one of my favorite layouts for the year is this one here. And I used those dies on there. It says, oh, Christmas tree. These dies are different, but these are the ones, those letter ones. They're so, so cute. So I used them there. Uh, I used them here and I'll get you, I'll get the cards and I'll show you a couple cards too. So I used them here. A little bit hard to see. I'm still quite deep in my Christmas album. Thought I used them one other place, but I could be wrong. Okay, so yeah, I, that's where I used them on here. And then let me grab a card and show you how I used them on a card. Um, where, oh, here they are. Okay, and then I have one other thing to show you. Oh, okay, so oh, I didn't grab the right card. Sorry. <laughs> okay. How funny. Okay, so let me show you them on a card. How cute is this with the X and the O? So this is one of the Blessed to Craft cards. So if you're interested in joining Blessed to Craft, um, all the invoices and information if you've signed up or sent me an email about it, they're all going out today. Um, but I love the way this card came out and it uses those dies. Uh, and then this, I just thought I'd show you this really quick while I am, um, this is the layout that's going up on YouTube. It's uploading right now as we speak. So I just did this layout this weekend and got it edited. So let me share my screen again. So those are the dies um, that are in the catalog. And I love them. I absolutely, uh, I got to get my blanket again. Um, I absolutely love these dies. I, before they retire, if they don't go into the annual catalog, I'm going to get another set of them um, because I love them that much. I've used them so much. The great thing about this set is you can see there, there's a couple letters in here that are doubled, like the A, the E, the S, the T. So they're not hard to use. Like when you're cutting things out, it's not like you're having to go, you know, put them through your die cut machine a million times to get your words cut um, because of that. But I would not hurt to have another set of those. So I love these. I did not, um, oh, they're not a bundle. They don't come in a bundle. So I just, I got the letters um, and they're so cute. The letter dies are so, so cute. Um, and they are $42 um, for the letter dies. Um, then there is this one, the best family ever. Um, Pip is using this one for the paper party. This is the sentiment set that she is going to be using. I'm using this one over here. This one here. This is the one I'm using for my cards. And then she is using this one. And it's a cute one. Um, I just didn't need like both of the sentiment sets. Like I don't have like a great granddaughter. I don't have a niece. I don't have like, I have a brother, but I don't like make him cards. I don't like do cards for mom and dad. Like it just wasn't a set that I would probably really use, um, but it's cute. And then the decorative masks. So these are the, um, and I always get these. I love these. This decorative masks or stencils are so, so trendy right now. Every stamp company is doing them. Every creator that I watch, even non stamping up, people are doing um, tons of stuff with stencils. And it's really interesting to see this trend. So I always get these. I always have. I love stencils. I passed on this again because I got some other floral um, items. And so I just didn't feel like I needed any more florals. 
Um, I skipped this because I got the destination set from that whole suite. I got all of that. Um, this is really a buildable set. So if you're really into like the building of your scenes, I think this is great. Again, I just skipped it because I got the other one. Um, and then this one, I really love this one. Um, I love the sentiments. This one is the one that's been out for a little bit. You may already have it um, because it, it came out. And I love like the celebrate. Um, it, it just, I, I will probably get this. I just skipped it for now. I love this for a special person on a special day. I love the frames. I think they're so cute. You can do so many things with them. Um, okay, this one came out a while back, but it's in this catalog. I want this stamp set. I didn't want it until I saw it in the catalog and until I've seen people do stuff with it. Uh, as I've seen people do stuff with it, I'm like, oh yeah, I definitely want that. Um, and then we have the small blending brushes. So, and this is an actual container that you can purchase, the blending brush storage. I just keep all my blending brushes in a drawer with all of my coloring stuff. So I don't need the um, container, but you can definitely get this container right here. It will match the other Stampin' Up um, line of containers. So that's nice. And it fits both the large and the small. So I'm happy to have the small ones. While I don't do a ton of blending all the time, I do think it's needful to have both. I prefer using the blending brushes compared to some of the other things that are out there for blending. I do prefer the brushes. Um, so I was happy. I got two sets of the blending brushes. So they come in a set of three. So I got two of them and that'll be enough. That'll totally be enough. Um, for the big ones, I have one for each color. So I have one for like light blue, dark blue. I have one for like red, orange, yellow. Like that's how I purchased my brushes. So I think six will be plenty for me. Um, I love this. I love the, the birthday cake. I think it's super cute and the fonts are super cute. This is best day and I really love it. Um, it's a cute one. Okay, next I got everything in this set. Um, I have some projects that are due with it, but also I have some scrapbook pages I want to do, and I love everything about it. I love the paper, the embossing folder. The stamp set is really, really great. We don't have something like this, so I really love that it's like the style of the motorcycle it is. I just think it's great for masculine cards. Um, we know a couple people who ride motorcycles, so I'm excited to have something that I'll be able to make cards for them for different occasions. And then I think they're gonna be great for, um, for scrapbook pages. So I got everything here, I love it. I skipped this. Um, if you are a fan of, I almost said Captain America, but that's not, that's the wrong thing. Uh, the, what's the one that Don, Johnny Depp is in? I know he's like Captain Sparrow or something. It's not, it's not my thing. My husband likes it, but it's not my thing. I watched all the movies, but haven't ever watched them again. Um, but this totally gives me that vibe. And if you're into that, um, kind of stuff this would be a great one to have or if you know people that love it um i know somebody who like is loves johnny depp loves all of that like those movies it would be great for um for that i skipped it uh not not my thing and then uh this is a great one i totally got this one i love the sentiments um, I have a couple other, this is normally not my style because you have to do a lot of coloring, but I have another set that is like the girls with the, like the mom with the daughter. And so I've kept that one. And so I wanted this one with the dad and the son or the dad and the kids. Um, I thought this would be so, uh, cute. And while we don't fish, we're not like a fishing kind of family. You could, take the fishing pole out you could like mask off and not use that so they're just sitting on the dock which i think would be so cute this reminds me of like violet and andrew um grateful for uh, for you all year long i just love the sentiments it's just they're so they're just great like i i got this i totally um kind of was in love with it pirates of the caribbean that's what it's called gail gail you've got my back today 
I do appreciate that. Pirates of the Caribbean. Yeah, not my thing, but I know like it's a big thing. Um, but I did watch the Johnny Depp trial. I did. I was all sucked into that. So, um, you know, there's that. And I do like Johnny Depp in general, just not that, uh, those movies. Um, I love this. I have people in my, um, you know, family that are, that do music. Um, not so much music, like they do church music, but I thought like they play, you know, the piano in church or they play the drums for church or, you know, that kind of thing. And I actually thought this would be really great for some of those kinds of cards. I, I love, um, the music notes. So I totally got this. Um, and not a lot of coloring. That's the other thing is, is like, even on this, like, it's not a ton of coloring. I can totally get down with that. Um, but I love this. What sold me on this set was this right here. How cute is that? I would never think to do this. Like I would never think to stamp like this, but I thought it was so cute and it totally sold me on that set. Um, and of course I've already gotten, uh, I have a couple, I got one of these set during my pre pre-order and then I've gotten a couple more of these, the enjoy the adventure memory and more. They're so cute. I just, I love them. Um, if you saw my paper walkthrough, I had these and I, I shared them. So I love it. Okay. So that's the end of the catalog back here. I'm going to flip through it really quick, just in case you're unfamiliar with the catalog. So you know what it is. Um, but the first pages here at the back are the bundle pages. So these will feature all the bundles. Um, what I do is I take a highlighter and I highlight not only as we walk through the catalog and the product that's on the actual page number, but I also highlight back here and it's a great quick reference. So that's what this is, the bundles. It will show you if there's a punch or a die set. It's really a great set or a great, um, it's a great way to see all of the sets and like what you're getting if you're highlighting and, and checking them off. Next, we have catalog at a glance. These are the stamp sets. They are in alphabetical order. Thank you, Stampin' Up, who finally just did that. Um, put them in, in alphabetical order. Um, I also highlight back here so I can reference, and these are just the stamp sets. And then we have the hybrid, hybrid which um, like this is the embossing folder and the die. I'm not sure why these are considered that. I didn't notice, um, but we have that category and then we have dies. So just be careful that you, if these go with a stamp set, like here's a legendary ride, the stamp set, here's the dies. So just make sure to check those bundles so that you save 10%. Whenever you buy something that is bundled together, you get a discount. We have punches, we have paper, embossing folders, tools, ribbon, and embellishments um, back here. And then there is a couple other things back here. You can host if you're a new crafter, if you want to join, and then demonstrator support. I'm going to go over those categories, but not on this page. And then back here is the very end of the product. And a lot of people miss this because it is on the very back page. And there is some paper here. So when you spend these amounts, now it says party sale, but even if you just purchase, like I have several people that I know that will save up their stamp orders for January and February during celebration so that they can get their free items and they will just place a $150 order or a $200 order or a $300 order. It's like their order for like six months. Um, and when you do that, you get Stampin' Rewards, which is just credit to buy product. That's all it is. It's, it's not anything fancy. So for um, $150, you get like $15 that you can spend in product and you can just use them on anything. And um, back here, this stamp set and this paper, you can only purchase with stamp and rewards. So you can either purchase anything in any of the catalogs on the clearance track, stamping up card kits. Um, you can use your credits for that or you can use them for this. So there is a stamp set, which is this cute at the pond stamp set. Um, or this paper. And this paper is, um, let me see, 
it's a big pack. So it's 12 by 12. It is 48 sheets and you get four designs of each. So that's what's back here. And then there is the legal information. So now let's go to the, um, I think I have to stop sharing. And then we're going to go to the celebration catalog. And then oops, we're going to come back and I'm going to share my screen again. And we're going to look at the celebration catalog. Okay, so for celebrations, if you're brand new to Stampin' Up! and you're like, what is this about? Um, it is the best time of the year with Stampin' Up! Everything in the celebration catalog is free. So whenever you place a $50 order, there is an item in this catalog that you can pick out. If your order reaches $100, there are items that are at $100 that you can pick out. So and you can get as many as you want. Um, and this runs from January and February. Now in the past, celebrations has been January, February, March. It is not like that this year. It is only in January and February, and there will not be a second round of celebration. Last year, there was a second round of celebration when the holiday catalog started. That's not gonna be the case this year. So those are the details. So let's look at all the products. And I will point out what is $50 and what is $100. The first item here is this item right here. This is the adorable owls. So let me just give you a heads up. On Thursday, on Wednesday, one, two, three, four, five. On, uh, that's tomorrow. Mm, I think we're... Is coming out with this stamp set and it will be free with a $50 order. So you order $50 in product, you pick this stamp set as your free item, and you are going to get a card kit featuring five cards. Everything is cut for you, all the die cuts are cut for you, all the designer paper is cut for you. There will be an exclusive video and a PDF with that card class. It will have five cards. So if you want to be a part of that class, you're going to want to wait to place an order. It's It'll be free with your $50 order. And then you'll want to pick this stamp set to finish the cards. So that will either be out on Thursday or Friday. I was hoping to launch it tomorrow, but I'm behind. So that's, I probably am not going to get that situated. Um, but be on the lookout for that. So it'll be a class that will feature this stamp set. And it will also feature paper from this catalog, which I will show you when we get to it. So this is the first one here. It's free with a $50 order. The next one we have is this one here, which is free with a $50 order. And it is the carrots. I just posted earlier on my Facebook page, three cards um, with this stamp set. So you can check out those samples. Here is some floral paper. It is free with a $50 order and it features these beautiful floral images. This is the one that I thought coordinated with that other, it does. It coordinates with the Dandy Delight bundle, um, which we looked at in the um, main catalog. And then here's Day at the Farm, which coordinates with the farm animals, um, which is the one that I said I'm hoarding this paper because I'm gonna do some scrapbook layouts with it. And I love this, hey y'all, that's with those letters, super cute. This one is free with a $50 order and it is sending support and it is these sentiments. So let's take a look at them. They're really cute. I love it. I've already gotten this stamp set um, and I think it's, it's really, really cute. So it's a great one. Next is this floral paper. Now in the catalog here looking at it, I was not impressed. I was like, I really don't like that but it's purple and oftentimes purple gets left out of a lot of things because it doesn't sell well. So a lot of product doesn't have a lot of purple in it. And if you love purple, that can kind of be a bummer. Um, when I got this paper, I fell in love with it. In fact, the order I placed this morning, I put another pack of this on there because it's gorgeous in person. So I really love it. And that's free with a $50 order. Next up is in the country. Now, if you know me, you know, I skipped all of this. I skipped it. Um, I don't even understand it. I don't understand how to use it. I don't understand how to stamp it. I don't understand 
who to give a card to like that. I like it because it reminds me of where I live. Like this literally looks like my street, like my road by my house. I think it's beautiful, but I don't understand how to use a stamp. So I skipped this one all together, um, but it's free with a $50 order. This one now is free with a $100 order. And I got that one. It reminds me of the Hollyhocks in the annual catalog, which I just recently got. So, so there is that one free with a $100 order. Now here is the paper that will be featured in the class I am launching this week. So this paper is free with a $100 purchase. It is a big pack of paper. Every sheet in this pack is gorgeous. I love them. So I have already purchased, like I've already picked this as a free item several times because I love the paper that much. So it's 48 sheets. It's four each of each design and they're double-sided. This is the paper that I will be using for the class with the owls. So you will get the paper in the card kits for that class. And again, that, that is coming out in a couple of days. Um, so when you place your order, you'll place an order for $50 using a special host code. For your free item, you will pick the owl stamp set and then I will send you five card kits. It will have this paper and everything will be cut for you. The paper, the die cut, the card bases, everything will be cut for you. So if you're interested in that and interested in getting a sample of that paper and being able to make some cards with it, stay tuned because that card class will be coming out this week. All right, now when you host um, a party or really if you just place an order that qualifies, um, as a party, um, you will get this stamp set for free. It is uh, the Scenic Garden stamp set. And your party, I do not want to misspeak. I think the order or the party total is $300. And then you get this for free. Um, it might tell us over here. Maybe not. Maybe so. So this is free, but I do believe it is $300. If one of my demonstrator friends are on here, um, they can correct me if I'm wrong. Okay, so here is the really exciting part. This is where um, I always feel like it's the best. If you want to get the most for your money, it is always the best time to do that is during celebrations because Stampin' Up! always offers a lot of free stuff. I personally joined during celebrations. That is when I purchased the starter kit and joined and it was to get free stuff. It was never ever to have a business. I never, I wasn't interested in doing this to make money. I just already had a YouTube channel. I already had a website. I was already sharing my craft, uh, my love for crafting. Um, it just worked out, but I never planned to, to have a business. So you don't have to have a business to join. And that is one of the biggest misconceptions about purchasing the starter kit is you have to have a business and you don't. Um, in fact, what I do having a full-time business is really rare. It's like 1%, like 0.1% of demonstrators do this as a business. Um, so to join or to purchase the starter kit, there are three options. The first option is you can purchase the starter kit and you get $175. Um, let me make sure that I'm saying this right. Um, so you get the exclusive, this is the exclusive mini uh, machine and it is in boho blue, which is a limited edition. Um, the normal ones are just white. So the first option is you spend $99 to purchase the starter kit. You're going to get the Boho Blue mini machine plus your choice of $175 in product. So you get $75 in product for free of your choice, anything you want. Plus you will get the Boho Blue uh, machine. Um, okay, or... Option two is for $99, um, I feel like I'm saying this wrong. I feel like I'm saying this wrong. 
Okay, so the second option, somebody's going to be on here correcting me. The second option is you, you purchase the starter kit for $129. You get the white machine, the white um, mini machine for free, plus $175 in product. So you get $63 in free product. Okay, why don't we rewind? Everybody, rewind. The first offer is you purchase the starter kit for $129. You get the boho blue machine plus the $175 in product. Okay, that's for $129. And it's free shipping. So you don't even pay shipping. The second option is $129 for the original machine, I don't know what, those are like the same. It's just you're picking either the blue machine or the white machine. So I guess option one, that's what's confusing me. Option one and option two are basically the same. You just get to pick if you want the blue machine or the white machine. You spend 129, you get 175 in product, okay? So I don't know why they made two different options out of that, but they're the same. Option one, option two, you spend $129 for the starter kit. You get a free mini machine. You can pick a white one or a blue one, and then you get $175 in product. Okay. So same thing. Option three is if you already have a mini machine, I already have a mini machine. I don't need a second one. For $99, you can get $175 in Stampin' Up product. Okay. So for me, because I don't need a mini machine, I love my mini machine. I use it more than I use my big one because it's just right at my desk. Um, for me, the very best value would be to get to, to spend the $99, get $175 in product. That's $76 for free. You don't pay shipping. And then you get to pick out whatever product you want. If you want the mini machine, if you're like, I really would love to have the mini machine. I want the white one, I want the blue one, then you can spend 129 and get that. So I'm sorry for the confusion on that. I was a little bit confused um, as to why they made that two different options. I love the blue one. It would not match my room. As you can see, my room is teal and black. So I'll stick with my white one. If they were offering this in black, <laughs> I'd be all over it. I would love that. Um, the blue is very, very pretty. It is gorgeous. It is boho blue which I believe is an upcoming in color, um, a sneak peek for an upcoming in color, or maybe a, a regular color if they're doing a color refresh this year. So let me go ahead and exit, stop sharing so we can finish chatting. And let me catch up with comments. Uh, Gail said that's so pretty. It really is a pretty, a pretty one. Like I said, I'm not getting it because it does not match my, um, my room. Uh, and you can see I'm very matchy matchy with all of the things, um, but it is beautiful. So those are the three options. So what is coming up is on YouTube, you will see this layout. Um, I'm sure it's done uploading by now. So I, it's a whole process video. It's like 40 minutes long. Um, you can check that out. If you are interested in blessed to craft, which are these cards here, um, this kit, all of this information is coming up as soon as I'm done with this video and I get it uploaded to YouTube, I will be sending out blessed to craft information and I'm sort of back in my studio as of like today, the kids are at school, I'm going to do some creating, I'm going to get that class up and um, the, de the designer paper that, uh, that will be with the class that's coming up is the paper that is in, let me get it. Let me just get it so you can see it. I think it'll be easier if I just hold it up and show you. So this is the Dandy Designs, and this is in the Celebration Catalog. So this is the paper that will be in the um, in the class with the owl. 
So you'll get all of the pieces already trimmed down for the cards. So you'll be able to make the cards. So you'll just place a $50 order. You will get the owl stamp set because that's the stamp set that you will need to complete the cards. And then you will get five card kits from me featuring this paper. You'll get the card bases. You'll get any embellishments or ribbon that I use. And then um, any die cuts I use, you will get that. They will be complete card kits with the paper and everything to make it. All you'll need to have is the stamp set, um, which you will get for free when you place your order. So that will be coming up um, in the next couple of days. I just have to get everything photographed and put up. So that is what the paper will be. So I know a lot of times I, I have customers that will say, I love this paper, you know, I love this set of paper, but it is a huge pack. It's 48 sheets of 12 by 12 paper. So sometimes you don't want to get like that, that much paper. Like I love paper, but you know, sometimes you don't need that much paper. So I'm going to be offering a couple of classes with this paper. Um, so that if you don't want the full pack of 48 sheets, but you want to make some things with it, you'll, you'll be able to do that. So that is the paper. Um, so that is what is coming up for this week. Also, the paper party itself is closing on the 5th. I'm getting information out about that today, too. So it's just going to take me some time to get all the emails out, get everything photographed, get it uploaded. It just takes time. So thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. I don't see any other questions. Thanks for joining me and hanging out while I went through the catalog. I would love to know what you think about the catalog. Even if you're um, catching the replay, let me know in the comments below what you're thinking of the catalog. During celebrations, it's also a great time to stock up on any of your like basic supplies. I just went through my cardstock tower and made a list of all the card stocks that I need to, uh, that I'm running low on. Um, if you're running low on re-inkers or you need to replace some stamp pads or like you haven't got the in-color stamp pads yet, or maybe you need to replace some blends, um, your markers, like maybe some of them are running dry. The best time to do that is during celebrations because you get free stuff. Like you get the free items from the celebration catalog. So um, it's a great time to do that just as a reminder. So, but I also would like to know if, if you're catching the replay or if you're on YouTube, you can comment in the comment section down below um, what you're thinking of the new catalog, what you're planning on getting, uh, what maybe you've already gotten stuff. So maybe what you've already gotten, what's on its way to you. I have a couple orders on their way to me. So I'll probably share that uh, like next week when I get them, I will share the things that, um, I mean, I told you guys pretty much as we were walking through the catalog, all the things that I picked out, but I'll probably share that as well. So, and then if you have any questions or you need help with an order, um, please let me know. And I am available to help. Um, and then as long, you know, as long as we don't lose power or lose internet again, I, I think we're pretty good. I think this, the worst of the storm has passed. So that is definitely the letter dies. I know they're so cute. Um, they are really cute. So thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today and make sure you check out my YouTube video for my layout. And I will be back tomorrow um, and the rest of the week with new videos. I hope you're all having a great new year and I'll talk to you guys later.